One great thing about Eagle is if you have a trace already placed, and you need to kind of adjust it, because you know I don't want this blue trace to be quite so close to this pad, uh, you can grab the Move tool and just click on the trace you want to move, and it will automatically, you know, keep the same style of uh, as what you were drawing your traces in, um, and allow you to make it look like you just planned it that way instead of planned it one way and then had to adjust a bunch of times down the road. Alright, so like I said, our Everything is in flex. The board size is going to change a little bit from doing this, but that's okay. It's how this generally works is you play and play and tweak and tweak, and then you finally have something that is right. Sometimes you just have to rip something up. I need that to go underneath this way instead of over top as I had it before. So I need to use the, that rip up tool and just delete it. Uh, then come back and just reroute it because I realized I, R5 goes to VB and there's not a great way for it to get there yet. So that is my next mission is to lay out where our second voltage reference is going to originate from and has to get to this pad. Like I did earlier, I'm going to change these um, LED packages to the three millimeter instead of the five. Um, for clipping, no package, uh, for clipping component size, three millimeter or five millimeter for an LED, I don't think should have any really audible difference unless it's a different color. Um, so I'm just gonna, for the sake of space on here, um, I'm gonna switch these to three millimeter and figure out where to put them. And I can't really stick them there. That's too, that's gonna encroach on especially D4, which can be kind of a, a wider diode. So I think we're gonna have to stick these over here and leave that area just kind of blank for traces or something. Three millimeter LEDs, they're pretty small. They won't take up too much space, but I do want to give them enough space just in case, you know, someone is using a five millimeter because they don't have any threes in their part stash or something. Um, and a way you can check that, um, you can either measure out a, a three millimeter, you know, length with the dimension tool, or you can add from our enclosures um, folder. LED and the smaller, I think, yeah, the smaller circle is the three millimeter. Shouldn't overlap on each other at all. I mentioned the uh, VB voltage reference. We need to finish uh, finish the uh, voltage divider for that. So we have R17 and R18. And the reason I put kind of split these up is because um, just because of the traces they're going to have to go through here, and the fact that we have a VB point over here and over here, it's it's going to be kind of spread out. Sometimes that's unavoidable, and this is one of those cases. Um, We'll try and route that as best we can.
like our like my voltage uh, reference traces. I like to have a nice fat one for the uh, uh, for input voltage before it hits the the shot key diode for polarity protection. Again, probably not necessary, but just become a habit for me. Well, crud. This <laughs> this happens inevitably. Uh, you forget something, and since this case, I forgot D1, which goes way over here at the beginning. Um, and I'm going to figure out how to make that work. Hmm. All right. So we what we have left is uh, the main power filter cap, the current limiting resistor, and the zener that I forgot about. Like a dummy. Um. We've got almost everything else on our board. This needs to go somewhere else because this goes up there, not to the output. That is going to come around and go to the output. Let's go ahead and do that now while we're thinking about it. Um, I'm going to use my control right click to change. There we go. And down to the bottom. And control click again to get back to the 45. And perfect. Since the LED is right next to the power input, an alternate way from what we've done is have power hit the LED first and then have the current limiting resistor uh, limit uh, how much it goes towards the ground connection. That allows us to connect. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, change the width. Uh, that allows us to connect this straight to oh, well that pad of the LED. Let's flip that around. Again, right click if you've selected the wrong thing, and then you can it'll select a, an alternate thing if there's the origin point of two different parts is right on top of each other. You can right click and select a different one. There we go. Rat's nest route. Beautiful. All right, and then we'll connect that down here, probably. I think what I'm going to end up having to do is just make the board just a little bit bigger. A little taller, by probably about a tenth of an inch. We should be fine. See here, there's a you know this red hash line thing showing where hey you've got a a trace overlapping a a pad that does not supposed to be connected to. It's just a little 
on-screen warning before you even do the design rule check that that is wrong. You should fix that. So we're almost done here. We've got just about everything routed. Um, it says I've got two air wires left. Um, okay, right here. That's an easy fix. Sometimes they're not always easy to um, find, especially if you have the grid up. Um, and if you need to take that off, just open that up and hit off. A little easier on on the eyes. Oh, and the other one is right here um, for the LED. Now, if you get to this point and you're you're like, cool, where are my air wires? Um, if you right, let me undo that and leave an air wire. If you go ahead and run your DRC and just hit check again. It'll give you the air. Hey, you've got an air wire, and if you don't know where it is, you can double click, drop, drop that down, and double click on this, and it'll point out exactly where it is. Um, just a very, uh, very handy feature for when your eyes are tired from having looked at this for so long, and you can't see straight anywhere. <laughs> okay, so nothing to do, rat's nest, nothing to do. That's what you want to see. Um, Here's then where you, you'll run your DRC again, check, and no errors. We are good. Um, and from there, you could easily um, get a board fabricated from this. Um, we do need to add another label here. This is called ground seven for some reason, and we can change that real quickly. Um, but yeah, and we need to add a label for this. So let's add some text, same as in the schematic. And we'll just call this B-O. <laughs> now that's gonna be on your top copper layer, which is not what you want. So you go over here, we want this on top names. Um, and it's way too big, so let's bring this down here I usually set this at about a 10% ratio and I want this bottom centered and there that matches with those um, from here I start doing just some little um, aesthetic things for my own eye uh, that's where I have all these other um, grid presets um, just so I can really fine tune things. You can do that with some of the traces and I, I uh, probably do that right here. That's pretty, that's better. Um, and yeah, we've got a pretty decent looking layout here. But here's where, like I said, we'll just tweak, you know, some of these placements of names or, um, Anything that catches your eye looking a little off. Um, but that's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with, with how this has turned out. You can, I've got a lot of empty space over here, so I, I could, um, I could bump that in a little bit and we need to do it equally on the other side so it, the board is symmetrical. I mean, you wouldn't have to, but come on, why wouldn't you? I'm not thrilled with how 
power comes here and then it immediately has to go around a whole bunch of stuff to get down to here. It connects, but it's not, it's connecting in, there's better ways for it to connect. It could connect. So, um, I'm, let's see, let's go to the change tool again, change, go to layer this time. I want to, to change this top trace to the bottom. So let me just click on it. And that's a, that's a via right there that popped up. That's a via. I'd like to avoid those if possible, but they're not the end of the world by any stretch of the imagination. And all right, that's still good. Nothing to do rat's nest. No, that didn't create any new air wires. Um, that still looks fine. Um, cool, very cool. From here, it's just the aesthetic um, things you might want to do. Like I'm going to add um, top place, a little line on the um, silk screen around the pads. There, that's looking good. Uh, and now, um, when I was a kid, my mom always made me sign my art, so. Well, if you have it and it, you thought it would, I thought it was gonna fit here, but it's gonna run into a pad over there. So you can hit escape and it'll open up what you had, have already done, typed up anyway. And then you can, oh, huh, shift, shift, enter, David. There we go. This is where at some point you need to just let it be, maybe sleep on it a night before getting too attached to anything. You can play with it until you're, uh, you can play with it forever until and, and never actually be fully happy with it. But yeah, this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. 